Hey, what's good? I'm in Harlem right now, which is probably why I said what's good. Anyway, this is a childhood home of Langston Hughes, poet, activist, playwright, you know. Langston Hughes is one of the most prolific American poets, and a large part of the reason for that is during a time when American poetry was getting more esoteric and unfamiliar, Langston was writing poetry that was a lot more familiar, a lot more accessible, and black. But I'm getting ahead of myself, let's get into it. He was born in Joplin, Missouri in 1909, and after he graduated high school, his dad agreed to pay for college if he studied mining engineering, if he became a minor major. He went to Columbia University in New York, which put him a little too close to Harlem at the very beginning of the Harlem Renaissance. So between what was going on there and the racism he was dealing with at school, he dropped out after a year and essentially dropped into the Harlem Renaissance. Now, American poetry at this time had very classical forms and language that wasn't really accessible to most Americans. Mr. Hughes said that classical forms didn't support the kind of work he wanted to do. So he would combine formal poetry with African oral traditions and use forms similar to what you'd find in a Negro spiritual or an African American folk song, essentially letting the text dictate or even create whatever form was needed. He wrote about the black experience in a way that regular people could read in rhythms that they could relate to. And he became one of the pillars of the, like, you can't even talk about the Harlem Renaissance without mentioning Langston Hughes. He also became the first black man in the US to earn a living off his writing. He was also reported to have been a closeted member of the LGBTQ community. Like, he didn't talk about it, he wrote about it. But like, real slick, you know how black people do. Dude wrote 16 books of poetry, 10 novels, 11 plays, 10 more nonfiction books, created jazz poetry, eight children's books, a bunch of his songs were set to music, like, while Dude was here, he wrote. However, he did pass away in May of 67, but the city of New York gave his house landmark status. Langston Hughes, y'all. 